Hello and welcome to Tech 18. I am Ahmad Adnan and in this video we are going to discuss about the gauge visual in Paginated Report or SSRS report. This gauge visual even in Power BI is not as simple as when compared to other visuals but here in Paginated Report is little bit tricky. So we are going to go in depth on this one how we need to use this functionality like as you can see it here on the diagram how we can add the ranges and also how we can add the pointers in order to do in order to make these things work so before going into that if you are new to this channel or if you haven't subscribed yet just click on the subscribe button and also press the bell icon to get the latest notifications now let's get started i made a separate video last time that we can add manually enter data into power bi pageant report if you haven't seen that please go and check out that video as well how we can add manual data in your report so here for an example i have this one range range 1, range 2, range 3, range 4. This will be like the uh, arc of this visual, um, gauge visual and actual is the actual value of that one. So I'm copying this one and adding it into our paginate report. To say over time, I have already added these informations into our report. So I'm opening this one and here if I run this report, for an example, I can able to see this data here. Let me zoom this here. Yeah, the range 1 is up to 30, range 2 is inclusive of this one is 55 and range 3 is here like 25 and the range 4 is 20 and the pointer which shows here is 68 that is the value available on our data. So design view and if I right click this one and then data set properties. So if you added a manual data into your report then this data it is generated is using a XML data where you can see all the information here, the column name and the value 30, 25, 25, 20 and 68. If you change as it is a manual data, so if after I change something else like 77 and then click on OK and if I again click on run report, now here I can able to see the pointer is redirected to 77, value is changing to 77. Cool. So now how we need to build this one. So first of all, we need to go to insert and then click on gauge here and then drag and drop the gauge visual on to your canvas and once you open that it will open up a new window this gives information about the available gauge visuals in paginate report in this case i'm going to select this one 180 degree north visual and it's all everything is work on a similar way so first of all i want to cover on this one so click on ok here basically this will add like this and now here what you need to do is select on this one and here you can see radial pointer is 35 which is basically a static value on this one and also on the right side if you see it on the property pane you can see the text here is 35 you can also select this option here uh, let me just re align the column headings here yeah now this looks good okay if i click on this one i can add expression and it will open up a new window here on the data set section I can able to see all the available columns what I have here I need to select the sum of value so double clicking this one this will replace this value and then click on ok so now this looks like an expression whereas if I run this report here this actually gives me the value of the expression which is 77 here and 77 also here cool so let's go back now and now build up this one so here if I, I click on this one this gives me this value and now if I click on this one this gives me these values here right so now the next challenge is first of all we need to add it in a sequence manner because this arc whatever we have on top of the that needle has to be stay so that first of all we need to add the needle and then we need to work on this one so how we need to do that is I will just take this radial pointer is the one right so right clicking this one and here we got the option of add pointer add range right so we need to select add pointer here so basically you can see it it has added it on the left side of this one right so what you need to do here you just need to click on the property pane here we have option of bar marker and needle i'm going to select the needle here and then you can see it on the image it turns into a needle and here on the top of this one we can change the color fill color I am changing it to a different color for an example red so it changed to red here and after that what range it has to select right 
so because of that we need to select the value here and then here we can use the expression in the expression actually i need to select on the data set i need this value as an expression so double click on this one this will add up this value here and click on ok so now we have a pointer and if i run this report now you can see this pointer also redirecting into the same direction what it is there on the previous one so now the next challenge is about these ranges so how we need to do that so the basically again you need to click on this one and then right click this one and add pointer so as you had just worked on the pointer part so it is just giving as a pointer here so now what you need to do on the property pane of this one you need to select the bar and after that you need to select the bar start to be start of the scale that's totally fine here you can see this scale start that's totally fine and here in the value section i will just give it a name as value in the data set this to be sum of range one so click on ok and here i need to set up the color of this one selecting this one let me change a different color zoom out of this one and then run this report so now you can see this one is filled up to 30 percent of this one and click on design view again here you can see there is one uh, pointer here one needle here and now we need to right click this one and click on add pointer again as just now we have worked on the bar so it is recently new added also it is a bar so let's first change the color here to a different color and this can be a bar also and scale to be start scale and here in the value section what you can do now is data set so sum of range 1 plus sum of range 2 i am going to add up these two values for this range and click on ok and now it is added two ranges here if i run this report now you can see it is filled completely onto the top here so basically what happens is actually the sequence what i told you is actually uh, this is not a good way so we need to do it in a reverse way so for that let me add the pointer again so what we have it now is this range 1 range 2 range 3 and then range 4 and then the pointer so totally we need the five values here um, and then the range 5 is basically the needle one i need to use that okay so because of that what i need to do let me just name this one so first of all let me just recap quickly so first of all we need to add the five pointers one is for the needle other four is for the range if you have multiple ranges like six or eight ranges then you can add all of them at once and then from the bottom you need to start working on your things so bottom i prefer to go with the needle and here the type i want to select it to be needle and for the value section i am going to click on expression and in the expression tab data set sum of value as okay and this can be the same indicator that's totally fine and here for this one radial point i am going to select as range 1 and this can be just the sum of range 1 which is just the range one and click on ok and this can be a bar and now after that this is pointer three which is basically the range two i can give it a name and here this should be range one plus the data set and then range two and click on ok so now we also have a range two and if i click on the pointer this one this is basically the range three range 3 here we have a different color no need to worry about that and here we need to add data set sum of range which is basically range 1 plus range 2 plus range 3 and click on ok that's it now this one is the fourth here we need to set this as a bar and this is needle this is bar this is also bar and this is also bar i need to select actually okay and this is the range 4 which can be bar as well and for this one we need to change the value instead of 35 we can click here and we need to add sum of range 1 sum of range 1 plus 
range 2 plus range 3 plus range 4 and click on ok and now we have all of these and if I click on run now you can see this graph and this graph almost matching so the first range one is up to 30 and the second range is from 31st to 25 this looks like the value uh, which is 55 and the third range is from 56 to um, 80 and the last is from 81 to 100 so now this is the range and the indicator what the pointer is like 77 which is shows up here so this is how you can add that here so just a quick recap again so right click this one add as many as parameters pointers which you need and then we need to set up these things here and the needle the last one should be the needle and after that you need to arrange the sequence from left to right it has to be range 1 2 3 4 5 how many sequence you want you can add up those things here so if you like this video just click on the big thumbs up button if you are new to this channel or if you haven't subscribed yet just click on the subscribe button and also press the bell icon to get the latest notifications but make sure to turn on the notification on your devices share it with your friends and colleagues if you have any queries and feedback just post it in the comment section below. Thanks for watching. Keep learning. See you in the next video.